How long was the new Bath Tavern pub open for? I'm going to make use of the local study centre and their newspaper collection to find out. Close to Morden Underground Station, the Merton Civic Centre, the offices of Merton Council, houses the Morden Library. Go through the main entrance, go into the library and go upstairs to the first floor. There is a lift. They have card indexes to stories and articles in the newspapers. Find the letter B and then look for Bath Tavern. And here's the first card of interest. Bath Tavern, Phipps Bridge. New Bath Tavern opened. Mitchum News and Mercury, 9th of February 1968, page 13. There are some fairly recent newspapers on the shelves in the local study centre. But for 1968, we need to get it retrieved from the storage area. As this notice points out, some newspapers are old and fragile. You'll have to find a member of staff. If it's not immediately obvious, and you'll see someone walking around with a lanyard and ID card around their neck, then you're going to have to try and find one. There are three doors in the local study centre. One leads into a restroom, and the other two lead into the storeroom area. I suggest just knocking on the doors until someone comes out. If you're lucky, Sarah Gould, the heritage officer, will be available. She is very helpful. If you're not so lucky, you'll get a volunteer. Fortunately, I no longer volunteer at the library. I did volunteer there during their World War I project 10 years ago. I say fortunately because I tended to hide in the storeroom so as not to interact with the public. I think the volunteers you'll find there now are a lot more sociable than I was. Anyway, ask them for the 1968 Mitchum News of Mercury and they'll bring it out to you. It will be in a big binder with all the other newspapers from that year. It's quite heavy. It will be better for them to bring it to you to the table. And then just open it up and look for this particular issue. And let's see what it says. Red letter day for Phipps Bridge Estate. New bath tavern opened. The moment residents on the Phipps Bridge Estate Mitchum have been waiting for arrived on Monday as their own pub. The bath tavern was officially opened. Licensee Mr John Caldery and his wife Elizabeth served Cope's Taverns director Mr D.P. Johnson and other Charrington Brewery officials with pints of beer and the new bath tavern was declared open to the public. Both Mr and Mrs Caldery have 30 years experience as publicans. They moved into the original bath tavern, estimated to be nearly 200 years old, 12 weeks ago before taking over the new. It's what everyone has been waiting for around here, said Mr Caldery. While we were in the old pub, people kept asking us how long it would be before they got a new one. On Monday night, you couldn't get in the doors. We had eight people serving, but have no regular staff as yet. Barmaid Mrs Annie Ayres has lived in the area for 50 years. Mrs Ayres was also barmaid at the old bath tavern, and can recall the days when a bare-fist boxing match was arranged regularly for Sunday mornings outside the old bath tavern, by regulars who wished to settle their differences. I used to enjoy watching a good fight, she laughed. Things are much different now. I don't have to work as hard here. Everything's been thought of. I used to come in early at the old place to light the fires in the bars. Now we've got central heating. The heating is supplied from a single central boiler house which heats the whole estate. Mrs Calder has started off the catering side of the business by providing cottage pie, sausage and mash and a variety of sandwiches and rolls on the bill of fare. As I get used to everything, I intend to provide luncheons as, as we have every facility, she added. Customers, both old and new, have settled in quickly to their new surroundings. As they sit drinking their beer, they give the impression the Bath Tavern was firmly established years ago. Two satisfied customers called across to their new landlord. We've decided we want to reserve this seat from now on. It's so cosy. Let's go back to the index cards and have a look at what else occurred at this pub. This covers the period 1974 to 1994. This card has abbreviations of the newspapers referred to. There's a card stuck to the index card cabinet, which gives an explanation of the abbreviations. So N refers to the Mitchum News and Mercury. D refers to the Mitchum and Morden Guardian. So let's have a look at this index card. Built to serve an estate. Mitchum News and Mercury, 11th of April 1974. Tavern Victory for Tenants, 3rd of December 1976. New Faces, 13th of February 1981. All in the Mitchum News and Mercury. Boarded up in July 1993 following a shooting. 
New Lease of Life for Eyesore Pub, 28th of April 1994. Tears as Man Freed After Pub Shooting, 5th of May 1994. Laundry for Trouble Spot. Laundry or Cath are the favourites to replace the pub, 16th of June 1994. And the index card that covers 1995-96. All change at Bar Tavern. 27th of April 1995. This is in the Mitchum and Morden Guardian. Surgery plans for Tavern Site. 17th of August 1995. Surgery scheme for pub. Doctors take over the pub. Surgery for a disused pub. So there you have it. Opening 1968 became the Mitchum Medical Centre 1996 thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video press the like button if you can if you liked it consider subscribing for more videos there will be more many more bye